Hey everyone, welcome back to Marine Max here in Pompano Beach. My name is Chris Wenstrom and today we are on board a 32 Vantage from Boston Whaler. So this is a perfect combination of both family friendly cruising days as well as some fishing features if we did want to bring some rods on board and do some fishing that day. So I wanted to start this with just showing the port side lounger and all the different ways that these backrests can convert into a multitude of different lounger positions. With both of my backrests down, as you can see, I've got a full sun pad and it is under the protection of the full beam with hardtop. And then I actually have additional shade that comes from this power retractable sunshade and will actually come out and shade all the way to this backrest. But with the pull of these triggers, you can see that I can adapt this seat and create a couple different positions. I can have a forward facing lounge if I wanted to have a backrest. If I wanted to drop this back down, I can deploy the forward backrest and have an aft facing lounge. Or if I wanted to simply have just a forward facing seat, bring that into its standard position here. And I have a two way or two row observer seat. This one being double wide. Cool thing about this seat here is it does have individual flip up bolsters and individual armrests. The entire seat is powered and I can also spin it on a 180 and have it face aft as well. So a couple different really cool options for seating if we are going to be having a crew full of people on board that day. As I mentioned, this is still a fishing boat. So if I wanted to bring this backrest back up into position and stow this stern seat away, you can see it does open up the cockpit to allow me to move around if we are going to have some lines on board. It does maintain a nice padded bolster all the way around the aft end of the deck here, so I've always got something nice to lean up against if I do have some rods in the water. Rod holders on the gunnels here, a nice side access dive door that does stow away nicely, nice thick gasket, and then a plug-in ladder so I've got an extra way to actually board the boat here, which is really cool. Two in-floor fish boxes, and then here just wanted to take a peek down inside the bilge for you to see how Boston Whaler finishes everything out. This boat was equipped with the Westerbeek generator, so we'll go ahead and show in uh, the main cockpit what that actually does for the boat here. But just wanted to take a look down below, show you the fit and finish detail here in the Boston Whaler. This boat is powered by twin 300 Mercury V8 Verados with joystick. So great power package for this boat. Gets you up on plane nicely, nice cruising speed. And then here on the transom, I do have a really tall close off door, which I like. So if I did have small children or pets, you can isolate the cockpit and just add a little bit more safety to the boat. Boat also does have a freshwater sprayer upon entry. And then I do have a reboarding ladder there on the transom. And you can see it is kind of angled away from the motor, again, for a little added security. Here on the starboard side is going to be my summer kitchen. I've got a nice prep station here, plenty of counter space. I wanted to bring on a tray or some sort of spread for the day. I do also have a live well, which is rounded out and insulated. So if we did want to bring some live bait on board, got a great place to be able to stow that away there. I do have a sink and additional storage here. So nice area here to be able to do, like I said, some entertaining. And then I also do have a refrigerator down below to keep your drinks nice and cold. With the full frame hardtop here, full beam width hardtop, as you can see, there is a track and receivers for a full weather enclosure set. So if we are gonna be doing a longer trip and we run into an unforeseen storm, I can completely seal this off, keep us out of the elements and keep everybody nice and dry inside. No shortage of cup holders all over this boat. I do have tons of storage as well. Here behind the helm seat is gonna be my battery switch and ignition keys, as well as additional storage down below with my trash receptacle. And then here at the helm, this seat is also powered, so I can bring this high, low, forward, aft, whatever I wanted to do to make this as comfortable I wanted to for the driver. Here at the helm, I do have my Simrad multifunction 12-inch display, JL Audio stereo knob, Mercury vessel view display, and if you wanted to add a secondary screen, you do have the option there to add a second screen if you'd like. Boat is also equipped with a VHF radio and a spotlight, and then here just behind my digital throttle is gonna be my joystick control. Over here on the port side of the boat is a actual convertible berth. It's a really cool idea here from Boston Whaler. Door catches on a magnet. And down below, this is where I can actually fill these cushions in and create a small area to be able to lay down and relax. And this is what the generator is for, is to be able to keep this area climate controlled, keep you nice and cool if you need to get out of the sun for an hour or you want to go down there and read a book or something like that. With that console berth, it does show that I now have my head on my starboard side. So I do have a vacuum flush head with holding tank, very spacious down in there, plenty of room to be able to move around. And then inside as well is an additional sink and storage. This door also catches on a magnet, so you can see nice strong handle there to be able to grab onto when I'm getting in and out. Door closes off nicely. 
big solid single piece windshield. This does close off and creates nice uh, protection from the elements as well as a door that'll seal off. So along with the weather enclosure set, I can seal the windshield off and keep everything nice and contained. Up here in the bow, certainly one of the best features on this boat is to have this manual shade that you can deploy. It does plug into rod holders up in the front, but especially in these hot summer days here in Florida, great to be able to shade this forward seating because it certainly is the best seat in the house and to be able to have some shade when you're at the beach or at, uh, at anchor, nice place to be able to relax. Up here, I've got tons of storage underneath all of my compartments. All of these cushions are removable. And as you can see, all nicely cleaned out, finished out fiberglass, gas assist strut to keep that in place. So a great place to tuck away all of your gear so you're not tripping on it inside the cockpit. Very deep and spacious in floor storage here. This is where a couple more batteries are going to be. Great access down in here below. So a great area here up in the front of the boat. Thanks for checking out this 320 Vantage from Boston Whaler here at Marine Max and Pompano. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me on my cell phone at 727-460-4175. Thank you.